Welcome to Cape Britain Island, Nova Scotia, Canada, also known as the home of the world-renowned Cabot Trail. Now this video will provide 10 reasons why people love Cape Britain. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to Cape Britain Island, Nova Scotia, Canada. Population around 135,000. Now just for context, we have a map here. We have circled Cape Breton Island. Cape Breton Island is a four hour drive from Halifax. Now this video will provide 10 reasons why people love Cape Breton. People love Cape Breton because of the Cabot Trail. The Cabot Trail is a 300 kilometer scenic drive in the north of the island, looping around Cape Britain Highlands National Park. It is named for Italian seafarer Giovanni Capoto, John Cabot, who sailed to North America in 1497 and claimed land in what is now Canada for England. The combination of cliffs dropping into the ocean, rounded mountains, highland moors, glacier scarred rocks, and old growth forest make the Cabot Trail one of the most beautiful stretches of road in North America. People love Cape Britain Island because of the Fortress of Lewisburg National Historic Site. The Fortress of Lewisburg is Canada's most famous historical reconstruction, painstakingly recreated with ruins and contemporary records into an exceptional living history museum. Here you will be introduced to the rigors of the mid 18th century life on the inhospitable, frequently misshrouded east coast of Canada. People love Cape Britain because of the hiking in Cape Britain Highlands National Park. Along with touring on the Cabot Trail, one of the most popular things to do in Cape Britain Highlands National Park is hiking its scenic trails and enjoying its natural attractions up close. This mountainous national park in the north of the island extends more than 950 square kilometers that are home to moose, beaver, deer, and eagles. One of the most popular of the numerous footpaths and hiking trails, the spectacular Skyline Trail is also one of the easiest. People of Cape Britain because of the Alexander Graham Bell National Historic Site. At the summer home of inventor Alexander Graham Bell, you can enjoy a glimpse into the life and work of the man who brought us the telephone and put his genius to work in areas as diverse as flight and artificial respiration. The Alexander Graham Bell National Historic Site houses personal effects and documents belonging to the famous inventor, as well as parts of two hydroplanes made by Bell and powered by aircraft engines. People love Cape Britain because of the Cape Britain Miners Museum. Glace Bay has long been known for its coal. The hill on which the town was built contains vast coal deposits mined by the French since 1720. The Cape Breton Miners Museum shows how coal originated as well as demonstrating old and new coal mining methods. Retired miners lead fascinating tours of an actual coal mine relating real life stories of the miners lives and experiences working the coal seams. People of Cape Breton because of the Celtic Music Interpretive Center. The Celtic Music Interpretive Center is a unique place that offers an immersive experience for visitors who want to learn about the importance of Celtic music on Cape Breton Island. The center has a traditional exhibit room that is fully interactive, offering historical information as well as hands-on opportunities with a variety of instruments, including the chance to try your hand at the fiddle. Visitors can also admire examples of vintage instruments, learn about what distinguishes one type of music from another, learn Gaelic, or try out traditional dances. People love Cape Breton because of Les Trois Pignons. Les Trois Pignons in Shetty Camp, a little Acadian fishing village on the edge of Cape Breton's Highlands National Park, focuses on the art form perfected by Acadian women who settled there, rug hooking. It blends the area's history with the evolution of hooked rugs, preserving entire rooms of furniture and household items, and opening a window into the lives of Acadian settlers in this part of the island. People of Cape Britain because of the Highland Village. Celtic culture is the theme of this living history museum in the heart of the Bredore Lakes. Lives of the Scottish families who settled here are captured in the period homes, church, general store, and one-room schoolhouse. A blacksmith is busy at his anvil, farmers harvest crops, and women prepare meals in the kitchen, while other costumes interpreters demonstrate spinning, dyeing, and weaving. You'll hear the lilting rhythms of the Gaelic language as well as traditional music. People of Cape Britain because of the lighthouse of Isle Madame. 
Nova Scotia has the most lighthouses of any Canadian province and some of the most photo worthy are on Isle Madame. You can download a map to see them on your own or join a guided driving and walking tour with the Isle Madame Lighthouse Preservation Society. On these tours you'll hear stories of the lights, their keepers and shipwrecks and even learn why American Revolution Commander John Paul Jones visited the island. People of Cape Britain because of St. Peter's Church as you approach Shedda Camp from the south, you'll see St. Peter's Church with its silver spire towering over the city, much as you would in approaching a village in Europe. St. Peter's is one of only a few stone churches on Cape Breton Island. Those familiar with churches along the St. Lawrence will note St. Peter's similarity to churches in that area of Quebec, both inside and outside. Its French-Canadian neoclassical character is no accident as St. Peter's was designed by an architect from Quebec City. The reasons provided in this video are not all the reasons why people love Cape Breton. If you've got a reason why you love Cape Breton, pop it in the comments section. I'll make another video. I hope you enjoyed the video. Ciao for now!